Welcome everyone! In this video I'm going to focus on balancing chemical equations. I'll step you through one quick and easy method using charts. Here is the first equation that I will balance. We have hydrogen and oxygen. We want to keep track of how many atoms of each element we have on both sides of the equation. So I'll we'll make a little chart here. I have hydrogen and oxygen. And here I have hydrogen and oxygen. If we count, we can see that over here I have two hydrogens. And I will insert the, the value here in the chart. And one oxygen. On the other side, I have two hydrogens and two oxygens. So we can see from the numbers that this equation isn't balanced yet because we have different numbers of the atoms for one of the elements. I got one oxygen here and two oxygens here. In order to balance the equation, I've got to add coefficients in front of the elements and compounds to change the number of atoms that I have on each of the sides of the chemical equation. Here is how I'm going to do this. But let me first change my the color of my pen. On this side, I have more oxygens than here. So I will add two here on this side. Now, two by one is two, so I will change in the chart here to 2. Now we can see that the oxygen is balanced, but we can see now that the hydrogen is not 2 anymore. So 2 by 2 it is 4. Now the hydrogen is not balanced. In order to balance I will add 2 here. Now 2 by 2 it is 4. From the numbers now we can see that we have four hydrogens and two oxygens on both sides. So this is a balanced equation. Before going further, I have to point out one really important thing, and that is you can you can't change these subscripts here. You cannot change these. The only thing that you can do is to put numbers in front of the compounds and elements. But you can change the subscripts. Those are set. Here is another example. I will do the chart first. On this side I have iron, oxygen and carbon. And here I have iron, oxygen and carbon. On this side I have one iron, one oxygen and one carbon. And on this side I have one iron, two oxygens and one carbon. The oxygen is the only one that's not balanced and I will balance it now. I have two on this side and one oxygen on this side. So I'm going to change the coefficient here in front of the ferrous oxide and I will change it sorry let's do it another color so two here and I will change it the oxygen here to two. But now we can see that we need to change the number for the iron. It, it is two here. Now the oxygen is balanced, but the, the, the iron is not. So I will balance the iron now. So two here, and I will change the iron here to two. Now from the numbers, we can see that this is a balanced equation. Let's do this example now. So 
So chart first. We got silver one, hydrogen two, sulfur one, and oxygen two. On the other side, silver two, hydrogen two, sulfur one, and oxygen one. And as we can see, now we have the hydrogen and sulfur balanced and silver and oxygen not balanced. Before going further, one of the rules for balancing is to balance the hydrogen and oxygen last in that order. So hydrogen, then oxygen. So in this case, it means I will do the silver first. I will add two in front of the silver here. Let me change colors. I will add two here and then I will change the number in the chart here to two. Now the silver is balanced. The oxygen is the last one that's not balanced. So I will add two in front of here. So two by one, I will change this to two now. But now we can see that the hydrogen has changed two by two it is 4, so I will change it to 4 here. Now we have the oxygen balance, but the hydrogen is not. In order to balance the hydrogen, I will add 2 here. 2 by 2, it is 4. The hydrogen is balanced, but now for the sulfur, I have to change to 2 here in the chart. It means I have to balance the sulfur now. In order to balance the sulfur, I will add coefficient 2 here. And I will change it to 2 here. Now, the silver has changed. 2 by 2, it is 4. And now, we have to change this initial 2 here in order to balance the, the silver. I will delete these two now. And I will add 4 here. And I will change this to 4. Now, from the numbers, we, have, we can see now that we have a balanced equation. Let's do another example. The chart is first, aluminum 1, hydrogen 1, and chlorine 1. On this side, aluminum 1, hydrogen 2, and chlorine 3. Aluminum is balanced, so we have hydrogen and chlorine. So I'll start with the chlorine. We have three chlorines here, so I'll add three on this side. And I'll change it in the chart to three. Now the hydrogen. I will change this number here to three because we have now three hydrogens. The only issue in such situation is that we have three hydrogens here and two hydrogens here. This is an odd even situation. Every time when we come across su such odd even situation, the solution is to multiply everything by two. So instead of putting three here, I will add six. Now I will change it in the chart. So six hydrogens and six chlorines. Now I'll need to, to balance the chlorine first. On this side, I will add coefficient two here to balance the chlorine. So two by three, it is six, but now I have two aluminums. 
The chlorine is balanced and now I need to balance the aluminum. I will add coefficient 2 here and I will change it to 2 here. Now the hydrogen. In order to balance the hydrogen, I will just need to add 3 here. So 3 by 2, it is 6. We can see aluminum 2, hydrogen 6, and chlorine 6. Now our equation is balanced. Do one last example. Let me just clear this. Here is the equation. The chart, iron, 1, bromine, 3, hydrogen, 2, sulfur, 1, and oxygen, 4. On this side, iron, 2, bromine, one hydrogen one sulfur for sulfur we have one by three it is three and oxygen four by three twelve before going further another rule for balancing is to always start with balancing the metals first so what i do is i will add two in front of the iron here and now i will change the coefficient here to two now the iron is balanced i'll go and do the bromine two by three it is six I'll change it to 6 now. Now the bromine on the other side, I'll add coefficient 6 here. I'll change it in the charge in the chart to 6. But now I can see that the hydrogen has changed. I will change it to 6 here. And let, let us see, we have two hydrogens here. And six on this side so I will add three here three by two it is six now let's see where we are let's do the sulfur so three by one it is three and the oxygen three by by four it is twelve and now we can see from the numbers that our equation is balanced. So now let me delete everything. And for the last thing, For the end, let's sum up the rules for balancing. Rules for balancing equations. Rule number one. Always start with balancing the metals first.
second balance the non metals except for the hydrogen and oxygen third balance the hydrogen and last balance the oxygen last that's it uh, that is it for this video thanks for watching and have a great day Thank you.